treatment. That is our process. Okay, and then just about COVID safety. Uh, is President Obama setting the wrong example about how serious COVID-19 is by hosting a big birthday party with hundreds of people this week? Well, I would certainly refer you to uh, the team who is working for my former boss to give you more specifics of what the protocols are in place. But I would note first that former President Obama has been a huge advocate of individuals getting vaccinated. Uh, when CDC provided has provided what CDC has provided guidance on is for indoor settings in high or substantial high zones of COVID cases. This event, according to all the public reporting, is outdoors and in a moderate zone. But in addition, there is testing requirements and other steps they are taking, which I'm sure they can outline for you in more detail. But is there any concern, just because, as you've said here, and you've had people saying over the last couple of days, vaccinated people can still spread this Delta variant uh, around. So is there concern that this President Obama birthday party might become a super spreader event? Well, I think, Peter, the guidance is about what steps people can take uh, when they're in public settings. Indoor settings specifically was the new guidance to keep themselves and others safe. In terms of what protocols uh, they are taking, I would refer you to them, and I'm sure they can give you more details. And just last one. So people who are watching this at home and they see, well, President Obama can have a party with several hundred people. Should they think that it is okay for them to have a party with several hundred people now? Well, we certainly advise everyone to follow public health guidelines, uh, which I know the former president, who is a huge huge advocate of getting vaccinated, of following the guidance of public health experts, would certainly advocate for himself. As well. So you might know this by now. Former President Obama said to have scaled back the guest list for his 60th birthday bash. But man, was that tent big, Dana. Uh, the party did go on. Hundreds of guests in attendance. The former president can be seen in pictures hitting the dance floor without a mask. We're told that he danced all night and had a great time. Happy birthday to the president. Joe Conscious, a media politics columnist for The Hill and a Fox News contributor. Hello, Joe T you. Here is the coverage by network. <clears throat> Are you ready? MSNBC, two minutes, 45 seconds. CNN, five minutes. Fox News Channel, 17 minutes, 35 seconds. You want to make sense of this? Oh, well, it seems that this is being ignored for some reason. Wonder why that is. I think that tent, by the way, is going to host the Super Bowl in 2025. <laughs> You're right. That thing is big. No question about it. But uh, as for our media, look, uh, no mention of Obama Fest anywhere on the Sunday talk shows either. And instead, I'm watching Chuck Todd, who will never be confused with Tim Russert, on Meet the Press. And he broached instead the Sturgis biker rally in an interview with the ubiquitous Dr. Fauci. And Fauci went off on the biker rally, but didn't bring up the former president's massless mega party. So it may lead to an increasing number of people starting to think that the doctor is seeing things through a political prism than a scientific one. Either way, our, our so-called leaders are not leading by example, Bill, Dana, whether that's the former former President Obama, whether that's Newsom, Pelosi, Lightfoot, Bowser, countless others, all caught breaking their own rules. But they don't care because they know that most of the media, they're going to provide cover instead of actual, you know, coverage. OK, so a couple of things here. Uh, Labor Day weekend a year ago, the president, former president tweeted it might be Labor Day weekend, but let's all remember that we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Wear a mask, practice social distancing and follow the experts. It'll save lives. Well, that, that was before we had the vaccine. So a lot, a lot of things have changed since then. But there was this segment with a New York Times reporter on CNN who said the following about those who attended. I'm going to be safe. This is a sophisticated vaccinated crowd. And, and this is just about optics. It's not about safety. This is a sophisticated vaccinated crowd, and it's just about optics. Glenn Greenwald yeah. says, a New York uh, Times reporter on CNN justifying Obama's huge maskless birthday bash because he only, got, number four guys, he only invited a sophisticated vaccinated crowd is about as emblematic of liberal discourse as it gets. What happened to all the concerns about vaccinated people passing Delta to the unvaccinated? So what do you think about the sophisticated crowd at Martha's Vineyard, Joe? Well, let's be clear. The New York Times reporter there, her name is Annie Carney. She said she was simply sharing the sentiment of one Martha's Vineyard resident from the story who said the whole thing was overblown. But I think in that case on national television, maybe I would have spoken to some doctors on the island instead or the CDC to get a clearer picture. Instead, by presenting this argument that the guest list is a sophisticated crowd seems 
seems to imply that the smart and responsible were going to be smart and responsible enough to take the necessary risks or steps to avoid contracting the virus. But if you look at those photos, the smart and the sophisticated completely flaunted any concept of masking, social distancing, indoors. By the way, just because the tent was outside, Bill, it doesn't make it an outdoor event. This was an indoor event. And the CDC, it deems Dukes County, that's where Martha's Vineyard is located, that is a high transmission area and therefore requires masks. But the president and Obama and seemingly most of his guests ignored that while dancing inside. And by the way, if that party was so safe, if the criticism so overblown, then why did the DJ at the party who put the po- photos up on social media, why was he ordered to delete them? Because it may look like they're hiding something. Rules for thee, not for D's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, as Brad. in Democrats. You, you know, I, we were told all last week that they're scaling this thing back. I said to Dana during a commercial, but what did they scale back? Mm-hmm. And I, I, I guess she said <laughs> that Nancy Pelosi didn't go or... And you Larry get David and David Axelrod. I think, I think Larry David actually may have placed him on the island there. Anyway, that's, I mean... Um, Get your Super Bowl tickets for Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Nice to see you. Let's talk <laughs> to you later you in the week. You bet. Thank you.